wow, this is actually a breath of fresh air. Instead of a game that's being uh, shilled and promoted and isn't actually as popular as people say it is, Grand Theft Auto 6, or Grand Theft Auto as a brand, actually is genuinely popular. So in a lot of ways, this is an actual viable competitor to Nintendo. Now, I'm not saying the games are good or that they're, like, better than what Nintendo puts out, but there's no real denying that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be highly successful, highly lucrative, and going to be played and enjoyed by a lot of people, right? This is a completely different animal than the whole Baldur's Gate 3 or Cyberpunk 2077, Elden Ring, like, you know, heavily AstroTurf products that can't really compete with the average Nintendo products, right? I've gone on record several times saying that GTA is one of, like, the central pillars of of non-Nintendo gaming. Like, people are always asking what these not, uh, what these casual gamers are playing on PlayStation and Xbox, you know, what they're, what they are playing, what, uh, you know, considering all these sales for software are down and nobody's really talking about or playing anything that comes out. Like, they're playing Grand Theft Auto. Like, even after a solid decade, Grand Theft Auto V is still very, very popular. And, a big part of that is because there's nothing else for these people to play, but Grand Theft Auto is kind of a cultural phenomenon and uh, a very appealing product for a lot of people. Now, I would argue that it's for shallow, shallow hedonistic reasons, but at the end of the day, Grand Theft Auto is going to do very well. So as a result of that, how exactly is this product going to affect Nintendo? I do think... For the next two to four years, right, as we wait for this thing to come out, we're going to see a lot of people try and weaponize this game against Nintendo. This is going to be the reason not to own a Nintendo Switch for a lot of people, right? This is going to be the game that everyone obsesses over, everyone says is like the best ever, that, that everyone says is better than like everything else that's coming out, that this is going to be like the big thing, right? Like, I think it's already safe to say that it's going to win game of the year just because it's Grand Theft Auto. Like the actual quality doesn't matter, right? Like it's going to win. It's going to win all these awards. It's going to, it's going to sell like 50 million units its first year. It's going to be like, it's going to be huge, right? But that doesn't mean the game is going to be good, right? And that's kind of what I want to emphasize going into this, is that the game is overhyped. The game is going to disappoint. Like, these games have been getting steadily worse since, like, San Andreas. Like, how many people do you see acknowledge that Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 were major steps down after San Andreas? How many people have you heard, seen acknowledge how ridiculous it is that we've had to wait over 10 years to get a trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. Like, how many people have you seen acknowledging, like, uh, how broken the online for Grand Theft Auto 5 was at launch and how much of a money sink it is now? Like, how many people have you seen acknowledge the very real problems with Grand Theft Auto? Basically no one, because everyone just consumes the game, you know, just, just consumes this goy slop because... It's the big thing for certain demographics, you know, for melanated man children. Like Grand Theft Auto is is very shallow. It's not all that interesting. It's not all that fun to play. There are like dozens of better alternatives to it, you know, from the open world genre to like the crime drama, like um, from from the crime drama angle, from like the the realistic. Uh, dry like th there's just so much better. Like it's weird how floaty the 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 aiming is, how the characters don't feel fun to control, how bad the melee combat is. Right when you compare it to other better alternatives, like Grand Theft Auto is kind of like Skyrim in the sense where it comes off as this very very shallow, very stale, very like uh wide as an ocean, deep as a puddle, right? Like, it is superficially appealing to people. And, and I would say the same thing about Red Dead Redemption as well, uh, one and two. Like, 
These games are not good. The people who buy Grand Theft Auto games who ignore the far superior Nintendo games, right, are the sort of people who are only impressed by the fact that you can go around killing cops and, like, taking your money back from prostitutes, right? Like, that is the grim reality of Grand Theft Auto because it doesn't have an audience of people who enjoy the game for what it is because, you know, we've seen how how poorly games like uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars do in comparison to the major mainline Grand Theft Auto games, right? And that's kind of the thing, right? Like, Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be one release that's competing against, like, Nintendo's entire portfolio, entire, like, uh, all of its merchandising, all of its films, everything it's doing. And I think simply because Grand Theft Auto doesn't have enough variety that it is going to lose out, right? Grand Theft Auto is not going to be able to carry the PlayStation and Xbox forever, right? There is going to come a, a point, probably not this time, but maybe as, maybe as early as Grand Theft Auto 7, where people are tired of the Grand Theft Auto formula, where people finally, developers start putting out games that can compete with it. I would argue that's happened already, right? There is going to come a time where people get bored of the Grand Theft Auto uh, formula and end up moving on to something else that does the same thing but better. At this point, it really does feel like Grand Theft Auto only succeeds because the audience is just just so obsessed with it, right? Like that it's just such like a – it's such a cultural phenomenon from the mid-2000s. It's like – it's this thing that uh that will do well no matter how bad it gets. It's it's no different than Star Wars or Star Trek or like any of that like Doctor Who, any of that like goy slop that people like to say is like top tier entertainment. Like Grand Theft Auto is gonna do well just because it's Grand Theft Auto, right? Like these people don't think about the products they consume. They don't think about what they're doing in the game. Like all they can think of is like driving over squirrels and just you know committing mayhem in the city right it's just that's the grand theft auto audience right the games themselves are not good so uh looking at this uh looking at this product looking at like what's going to happen uh it, it's going to be interesting seeing people like try and pretend as if nintendo isn't going to be able to to compete with uh with grand theft auto like that's going to be the big thing i think going next year like for the next couple of years is that like the switch is going to be attacked for not having grand theft auto the same way the wii and the wii u were attacked for that for not having grand theft auto 5 or grand theft auto 4 right like this is going to be the major reason that a lot of stupid people don't buy nintendo platforms and i think that is unbelievably sad Nintendo far outstrips Take Two and Rockstar Games in every single way, shape, and form, and there's really no denying it. The only reason why you would not prefer Nintendo over GTA is if you don't play more than one game in your entire lifetime. 